I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration, and this is 2024, the year prediction, okay? Uh, I just want to remind everyone, I'm not so much looking at, you know, the world things. I'm more concerned about the human experience, your experience, and how to help you to end your suffering and to wake up, okay? So I utilize the energies of these months to help you unravel what you need to still unravel and clear. So in January, there's going to be um, a lot of intense energy, okay? So as I look at the energy frequency, it, there's a lot of really darkness. And remember, dark doesn't mean bad. It just means that it's mostly these emotional frequencies. And it's going to be a time where whatever you haven't cleared things that you haven't faced, January is going to be the month that's going to put it in your face. <laughs> okay. So, you know, a lot of people, we, we try to avoid certain feelings. We avoid different emotions and we avoid situations. We don't want to look at things. We want to keep status quo, keep things peaceful, whatever. But what's happening though in January is it's almost like being squeezed a little bit um, but, and, and, kind of forced to let yourself start to face what you haven't faced yet. Okay. So January could be a little intense for some people, not everyone, but for some people. And in the, um, in that frequency of, of the energies literally, you know, kind of like getting activated. It's, it's like, there's already a breaking free in your subconscious for these other last several months that, that we've been going through and a lot of intensity. But what's happening is all these intensities are loosening up your subconscious. So in January, a lot of these feel a lot of these emotions and beliefs and things that have literally literally been keeping you blocked or keeping you inhibited, keeping you from shining your light are gonna be happening so that you can begin to release and clear these energies, purge these energies out so that more of your own light gets to shine, okay? So January is going to be a little intense, but remember, it's really about your well-being. It's about, you know, whatever whatever is within that needs to come out <clears throat> is going to be happening, okay? So good month, good month, right? <clears throat> and then we have February, <laughs> This is cool because February, all of a sudden, it's like the energy starts to go more on an up, upward movement, which means, okay, so think about, okay, so January is like squeezing all that energy, helping you to move stuff. February, it's like it's coming out of that deep purging, out of that deep intensity, and more lightness will be happening. Okay, that's also the month, you know, like the the, the Valentine month, you know, love month for, for people. And there, that's going to be happening. Okay. So even for some people who haven't had love, this isn't the, it's, I can see a lot of energy that, Ooh, potentially, ah, people, someone could be coming into your life and that could be really awesome. And February it get yeah. So it's coming out of all the dark and it kind of comes up. It's like a lightning up. It's like, Whoa, you know, it feels like shedding a bunch of stuff and you just feel freer and lighter. And, and it kind of, uh, it just kind of balances out and it has a little bit of a smoothness to it. And, and it also has opportunity, you know, the opportunity for new connections, the opportunity for new ways, opportunity for different thinking, ways of thinking, ways of being. So February could be like a really fun month, like a really awesome month for just let's have fun. Let's be light. Let's just have you know, laughter and joy and connections. So that's month is a, it's a beautiful month. Okay. Kind of exciting. Um, and then we come into March and March. Okay. March is not going real dark, which is cool. Okay. So what I see with March though, is that as we're coming out of that elated kind of state, then we're going to be coming into March and it starts to, the energy starts to go down a little bit, not too much, but a little and it has, um, and it also balances out. So that that maybe that high that we we're experiencing in February, a little bit of that starts to go away, and then we're, we start to come more into reality. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like reality. Like okay, this is my life. Okay, 
And this is what's happening. And, oh, I get it. That's what's up. March is about, ex mm -hmm. March is about acceptance, you know, accepting um, uh, what is, meaning, you know, no longer being so um, attached to or wanting things to be a certain way. There's just more of a relaxation and, you know, it just has that more accepting of your life, of the world, of what's happening, which also brings more peace within, okay? If we're in angst, if we're troubled, we're, our bodies are not at peace. But when we have, when we are accepting life, you know, accepting what's happening, accepting our world, accepting, the body relaxes, okay? So, February will be a month of acceptance, you know, accepting the isness as it is, accepting life as it is, okay? So in a sense, to me, that's a great month, really, like really cool, okay? So then we go into April, mm -hmm, hang on, April, mm -hmm. okay, okay. So April dips down uh, into what I would call your subconscious, there's, okay, what is this? There's some kind of light. It could be planets aligning. There's something that's going to be bringing even more light. Ooh, what is this? Okay. Okay. So for some people, April is um, where like people who have a feel like they want to just keep hiding. Okay. Some people just want to keep hiding. All right. So April it's going to be a month of hiding. So it'll be easy, like, <laughs> you know, it's like when we, you know, sometimes we don't want to be seen or reveal things. So this is going to be the time where, you know, we've, we've come through the January, February, March, and then we're coming in April. And it's more of like people are going to try to hide things from themselves, from others. It's This is actually not a good thing. It's not a bad thing either. It's just that, you know, in order to be free, we just want to be open. We want our hearts to be open. So if we're hiding things, withholding things, that's not heart open, okay? So again, it's not a bad thing. And it's going to be a month where people will have more ability to hide stuff because that's what the energy is holding. It's holding, hiding, you know, hiding, okay? So you're going to be hiding Things that you don't want others to see or know about you. Maybe it's your thoughts, your feelings, your beliefs, whatever that is, you know, but just have it, have that sense of, oh yeah, I'll be trying to hide things from myself, from people and, you know, just keeping, keeping things from being exposed. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be hiding in that month, hiding energy, hiding ourselves, hiding our thoughts, our beliefs, hiding our judgments, you know, all that emotional stuff where we trying to hide it. Okay. So that's kind of cool, kind of fun. And then we move into May. All right. So when I go into May, mm -hmm. all right. So all those things, <laughs> hang on, all those hiding places. And you'll, you know, if you really want to hide, you will, you will, you'll hide stuff. But my point is, is don't bother, reveal, clear, open, expand. Okay. So when I come back in to coming into, May, in that frequency of May, <clears throat> we have, and what is that? May. Mm -hmm. Okay. May has kind of a, a line that just kind of has a, a flatness to it. And it has a feel or a sense of not a lot of intensity. It, um, it's more like, into, oh, that's what's up. It's like an integration that's happening. With all the these other months, there's an integration. There's oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it has to do with, you know, like we start looking at our lives again. We start looking at oh, what what you know, what am I happy about? What what do I really want? What do I really want to change? Is that questioning? That's what it is. May is the month of questioning, so it has questioning. Um, values, beliefs, you know, sometimes people had certain beliefs. And then as we, as we uh, expand and get clearer and do a lot of healing work, some of our beliefs start to change. Okay. So in the, in the month of May, the questioning will begin questioning our, our thoughts, questioning our beliefs, questioning what's important, questioning what's real, questioning what's vital 
questioning, okay? So this too, I think, could be a really good time to, you know, it's like that questioning because you start to get clear. You're going to be getting clearer because you've been doing different things these last several months to empty out the subconscious. Now it's kind of like, you know, you're, you've emptied a bunch of stuff. You've, you've done some healing. And now it's kind of like your, your old self, who you were, what you were believing, what you were experiencing, what you were thinking was important is all changing. Okay. So now you're questioning what we know, where are your values, what matters to you, what's important to you, you know, what makes you happy, what makes you shine, what makes your heart open. Okay. So May, a beautiful month, you know, May is a good month for just questioning. Okay. And just, you know, going deeper and deeper into the self and the connection with the self. So that's what's also happening is a deeper connection with your true energy, your true essence, your true self, which is beautiful. Okay. So um, again, May is, is a beautiful month. You know, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> you know, you're not going to be dragged over the coals, right to the coals or traumatized. Okay. <laughs> like we have been. So May gentle in, in a sense. Okay. Then we start coming into June. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as we come into June, the frequency begins to go in, an, in a moving upward, meaning May was uh, kind of a softer questioning. Now June is going to start amping up a bit. Okay, so the energy start amping up. And <clears throat> for people, mm -hmm. okay, what is this? So if we go into June, what is this? What is this? Okay, so the energy... Mm hmm. Okay. So there's like, is it like forcing, like a forcing the force? Okay. Yes. Okay. So June has a forceful energy to it when, and it's, it has a frequency of almost like forcing one um, to face, you know, more of whenever you haven't. See, here's the thing. Keep in mind that as we're evolving and we're healing, you know, we come in, we, do inner work and we feel different, we are changed. And there's still more stuff in the subconscious. So, you know, each time that we get more open, our heart opens more, we're sharing the more true gift of ourselves, we're feeling more liberated. But again, remember, we're in the new paradigm, the precipice of the new paradigm. So it's relentless. It's not going to stop until all you are is love and light. All right. <laughs> yeah. So June it's going to go to another level of forcing one to begin to look at again one's life, but also it's like a, a forcing us to be in touch with, like uh, things will be happening that will activate more of some of the wounding that we have, some of the, uh, you know, some of the heartache, heartbreak, some of the beliefs that we have around not being enough, not being loved, you know, not being wanted, all these core, core, core beliefs that many, many people have. And June will be helping again to bring that next level up, that next layer that hasn't been cleared and, and faced and felt and released and healed. Okay. So it's like that forcing, and I don't mean it in a bad way, like the, the feeling, you know, like when I say forcing, sometimes we feel like, oh, well, you know, we're going to be dragged somewhere. It's not really that kind of thing. It's just that the force of the energy is going to force these things to come to the surface. So whatever you didn't unravel, whatever you weren't clearing in these last several months, whatever was happening for you, here it comes again. It's another opportunity. Okay. So think of it as an opportunity. Okay. Sometimes we don't know what's in our subconscious. Well, of course we don't know, but we don't know what's next. We don't know. We can sometimes feel like, you know, I can feel there's something. I don't know what it is. I want to be liberated. I just want to be myself. I want to be free, but I can't find it. June will bring it. June's going to start bringing it. Okay. It will bring it in ways that cause, that cause some kind of reactions that cause some kind of emotion. And when that happens, if you can remember, ah, this is it. This is what I've been looking for. This is what I want to open up to and let it come out so I can be urged, you know, get this energy out. And it's going to force this energy out of the body. Okay. It'll force it up into consciousness, forcing it up into awareness so that you can heal it, clear it, be done. Okay. 
So June is, I mean, these are all phenomenal months, I think. Okay. So then we come into July <laughs> and July, it's a trip because the, the energy presented right away. It's like, okay, I'm just going to describe it. So coming into July, it's like energy, like swirling, like intense, like, like, you know, like energy is moving very quickly, spinning, spinning, spinning. So July is like a spinning kind of energy. And in the spinning, you know, it's going to, uh, again, it brings things to awareness, but it also start, it, it's like, it's kind of like a, what is this? Like, so things come up, but they, it's like, there's a spinning, an energy frequency that, oh, hang on. It's not crazy intensity. That's what's up. Got it. Okay. So <laughs> July is going to create some intensity in that spinning. Okay. Here's the thing, you know, we're all being asked to show up, to face ourselves, to unravel our subconscious, to open our hearts, okay? This is for everyone on the planet. So for those who aren't doing that, for those who keep wanting to hold on to their wounding, you know, the poor me, the perverse pleasure in their suffering, you know, who would I be without my wounding? You're going to get spun. You're going to get in the barrel, man, spinning, spinning, knocked around <laughs> to your, it's like, whoa, you know, and it's almost like it's, it's going to, you know, bring things to the surface and bring things to awareness. And it's just the spinning month of just, you know, just bringing it, 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 bringing it to awareness again, so you can heal it. Isn't that what life is all about? Well, for most of us, it's like the recognition, knowing. You know, it's about waking up. It's about healing. So our heart is open. You know, when the heart is closed, it's like we judge people. We find fault. We hate people. You know, we, we kill people. All these things. New paradigm is not about that. New paradigm is about love and light. Okay. So this is all preparing us for that new paradigm. So that spinning energy of July is just going to, you know, throw us into the barrel, so to speak, and you're going to get whipped around. It's like coming out I'm like, whoa, I think, yep, I got it. I got the lesson now. Okay. <laughs> Which is a good thing. But the sooner you do it, you know what I'm saying? The sooner you just like, don't, don't get yourself whipped around in that barrel. Just, okay, here it comes. All right. I'll do my work. Yep. I got it. There's that feeling. Oh, I know that one. Let's, let's know it, be done with it and move on. Okay. All right. Then we come into August. Oh, August. Whoa. Hang on. Okay. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Okay. August. Whoa. Oh, okay. So August is going to be kind of an intense month. See, a lot of things that are happening globally in our, in our world and will also be affecting us. Okay. So in August, it's going to feel like almost like a squeeze, like you're being squeezed. Okay. And being squeezed is not fun because it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how much light you're holding, how much um, love and light you are. Uh, that squeeze is going to have a feel to it. Like you're um, like, you know, like you can't move. You're like being bound up in a sense, but it's also squeezing the, Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, okay. For example, like if you got a wash rag and you're squeezing the water out and then you want to get every last drop so you really squeeze it, <laughs> that's what's up, okay? So what I'm saying is people like myself and other people, we're going to get squeezed. Everyone's going to get squeezed, okay? And for those who are more aware, um, you know, be aware of this. And as that squeeze is happening, it's not about fighting it. It's about let it happen. Be squeezed surrender to it because it's just it's milking out it's squeezing out lots of energies and emotions that aren't the truth you know they're coming from your false self your false you know the false ego got developed and created through misperceptions and belief carry over from past lives so let this energy get squeezed out okay that means surrender just let it happen go through whatever emotions you're experiencing in that squeeze and get every last drop <laughs> of, of you know heartache, heartbreak, whatever, whatever is in your subconscious. The poor me, the victim, you know, I'm not enough, I'm not wanted, I'm not loved. Well, squeeze all that energy out so you can emerge with the heart more open, feeling more love and connection and more light. Okay. 
It's a good one. Good, good, good. All right, then we got September. September. Oh, whoa, hang on. Okay, so September. Oh, we got fire. Is that like fire? Whoa. Okay, so September is like fire, okay? Um, it's like a, a burn, okay? So what does that mean, though? Because we got the squeeze, squeeze the name. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so September has a fire frequency. You know what fire does? It purges everything. It, you know what I mean? Like when in a forest, sometimes fires, natural, natural fires, they clear out the debris and make room for new growth. Okay, so that's what's happening in September. The fire is going to burn, burn your thoughts, burn your beliefs, burn your misperceptions, burn your conclusions. It's basically sheathing you to where there's like emptying you out. So that's almost like you have no, have no thoughts. You have no desire. There's nothing, you know, you're being, it's burned. You know, the fire is purged and burned everything. Well, maybe not everything, but, and the thing is, is people will still hold on. I'm telling you, okay. People will still hold on to their, you know, their pain, their suffering, because that's who they identify with. But those of you who are willing, like, well, let that fire burn, you know, say, welcome it, say yes to it. Yeah, it's like, whatever is not the truth, whatever is not me, burn it, bring that fire on, okay, stir that stuff up, clear it, dissolve it, let it be done, okay? Good month, okay? For some of us, it's kind of exciting. For others, it's going to feel like torture, not fun. All right, moving on to October. October, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. So after you got burned, <laughs> after we all, we, me too, after we all get burned, then there, there's something here. There's like, whoa, this is, there's a cradling. Whoa, this is a trip. Like a being held. This is sweet. It is. It has that cradling energy to it. Um, literally, I can see it. There's like this softness, this an energetic holding, like, like almost like, okay, you come through that fire and you're, you know, you feel like a lot of emotion, but then you're being held in a softness, in a gentleness. This is a trip. I've not seen this kind of energy before. Okay. So in that energy of being held and cradled, it's almost like it's, it lets the body recalibrate and lets the, you know, the, the physical body uh, all levels of who we are, you know, the light body, Merkur body, astral body, etheric body, mental, emotional, physical, spiritual body, all levels of who we are, are going to be held, cradled, held and cradled in love so that we can just keep recalibrating, surrendering into, you know, the, the fire burned us up. Now we're healing. So we're healing all this intense energies, all the intensities. So it's a, a beautiful month for just feeling finally like, wow, I am loved. Hmm. I do matter. Someone cares. Yeah, you, you know, it's, a, it's cool. It's very cool. Beautiful month, really. But just being cradled and held and while you're healing and recalibrating and recovering <laughs> from, you know, from the fire. Okay, so it's pretty darn cool. Beautiful month, okay? And then we move into November. <laughs> I'm sorry. Some, you know, some I get these visuals, you know, and it just cracks me up. So I'm just, yeah, I'm seeing in, in November, literally like the bottom falling out. You know what I mean? Like here we are thinking we're, you know, we finally got a grip, you know, we're finally on track. We're finally, you know, able to be stabilized. And then the bottom falls out in November. Okay. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, it's, it's, but when that happens, it can be a little discombobulating, okay? Because then we, we're feeling like, whoa, we just did all this stuff, and I'm being held and cradled, and now what? You're going to drop the bottom out? Okay, well, I'm, and remember, these are all on an energy level, energetically, okay? So in that, in the month of November, bottom falling out, it almost takes your breath away, because it's, like, it's like, oh, you know, the bottom just dropped out, and you're like, whoa. But what's cool, though, is you're going to discover how much how far along you are, how much further you have come, because even as that bottom falls out, you're going to discover, whoa, hey, 
look how much I have grown. Look how stable I am, you know? And, and in some ways, sometimes these energies happen for that very reason to show us how far we have come, how much we have evolved and woken up. It's pretty darn cool. So the bottom falling out, it, again, it has to do with all the belief systems, things that aren't really the truth, things that no longer serve. And, um, <clears throat> Uh, you know, the, the the dropping away, the falling away of things that maybe and we used to hurt us or maybe used to make us uh, judgmental or, you know, whatever that is, you know, all our, all our emotional stuff, you're just going to be, whoa, it's going to feel good to recognize and see that I have come a long ways. I have done really well. So that, you know, the, the bottom falling out, for some, it's going to be intense but for those of you here, you're, you know, you're all here for a reason and you're all here seeking on some level your own liberation. So you've been doing inner work. Okay. So you're going to just feel like, wow. And, oh yeah, yeah. I just saw it. And you're, you're going to be watching other people's lives just collapse, you know, as the bottom falls out while well, even your bottom is falling out, but somehow you're just not whipped around. You're like, alrighty then this is it. This is what's up. And then you, and then you navigate it. You're able to navigate it. Okay. More easily. So it's not intense, okay? And then we come to December, next year in December. Hang on, what, 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 what? Mm -hmm. What, what, what? Ooh, something, something, what is this? Something, this is trippy. I'm just gonna say what I'm seeing. I don't quite understand it yet. I'm seeing some kind of light coming in, but it's not a light like you know lights just coming there is a there's is is there con there's something with that light consciousness there's something like a consciousness of a conscious being or something coming in to a, into the world and okay oh yeah yeah okay so that for okay it can create some kind of fear it can create elation um so december what is this? What is this? So, okay, so energies go dark. Light comes in. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Is it, is it bringing hope? Oh, that's what's up. December is going to bring a feeling of hope. Okay, that's what's up. Okay, so I see this light shining. It's a frequency of love. Okay, it really is. And it's shining on the darkness of the December of, you know, like all, all the things that will be happening in the world. There's going to be, you know, global things happening that are going to be not pretty. And that frequency that's coming in in December, it's like I'm seeing December having a lot of darkness. And that means, you know, pain and, and suffering for, for lots of some people in the world. Um, but that light frequency that's that comes in into December is holding just this loving energy and what it does for, for humanity, for the world globally is on some level, even though someone could be going through chaos, losses, devastations, horrors, something about that frequency of love, of light, that's love. It's kind of like, so it's almost like when you're a kid and you have a trauma and then not everyone will, will be able to relate to this, but if you you know just do your best, but it has that feel to it that you know mom holds you, she just she's holding you, even though crisis happened, even though you're hurt, even though you know you're in pain or suffering, you can feel that love, and there's something about that that lets the being, the body relax, and to feel like you're seen, like you matter, okay. So that light frequency, and I am saying there's going to be some really intense things happening. And through it, somehow just that feeling, which is good, that you're loved. Through it all, through the horrors, through the all the devastation, everything that's happening, that feeling of being loved. I mean, that's what we all want. That's what we're all looking for. We just want to be loved, period. That's it. Well, December 2024, that light energy coming in of love so we'll be having that anch anchoring that in as the world's having its you know falling apart so to speak okay so great great year coming up big things happening 
the best that you can do is just keep surrendering to what's happening, keep going through and, and healing your, you know, your, your unconscious stuff that starts to present. Keep your heart open and know that it's about love. Love will carry you through. You hold the frequency of love. You help to activate that in others. We help each other. We bring, you know, we be, help to create the shift into the new paradigm, which is coming no matter what. But, you know, we want to be a part of that and we can help co-create that by facing ourselves, doing our inner work and let the universe work for us. All right. So that concludes our projection for 2024. Thank you for joining me.